Welcome to the Grand Scandinavian Hiking and Backpacking Tour 2021. This summer I've been traveling the length of uh, Norway and Sweden, backpacking some of the most amazing places I've ever been. I started in late June and traveled from southwestern Norway over to the eastern part of mid-Norway uh, to Femundsmarka National Park where I spent uh, 10 days uh, backpacking this amazing wilderness. I then uh, drove uh, over to Rondane National Park, where I hiked the uh, pinnacles and the hidden valleys of one of the most stunning national parks in Norway. From there I went to the classic uh, Jotunheimen National Park, where I started the trip by hiking the highest uh, mountain in Norway, Gallhöpiggen, and then went on to do a big loop and got to see some amazing sights, tons of glaciers, uh, some reindeer, just a legendary place, Jotunheimen. Also got to experience a night in the tent with 28 meters per second or nearly 63 miles an hour winds. After Jotunheimen, I drove to Lierne National Park where I backpacked one of the most remote national parks in Norway, right on the border with Sweden. After Liena National Park, the corona restrictions for travel were lifted somewhat, and I was able to drive up through Sweden, passing through the Arctic Circle, and finally arrived at the spot I've been wanting to backpack for a long time, Sarek National Park. I spent a week in Sarek and got to experience the south side of the famous Rappadalen, Rappa Valley, and also hike a little bit on the Kungsleden Trail, a place I really want to go back to pretty soon. From uh, Sarek I traveled uh, back across the border to Norway, and uh, I finally got to visit the famous Lofoten Islands. The Lofoten Islands has all these amazing pinnacles that just dive straight into the ocean and can create some amazing views and scenery if you got good weather. From Lofoten I traveled down the coast of Norway in some pretty bad weather. So I was looking at the weather forecast and what popped up as a possibility was Breheimen National Park close to Jotunheimen National Park. Breheimen uh, basically means glacier home and it's a national park filled with glaciers and green streams, lakes and ponds. And uh, this has been on my list to do for a long time but uh, the weather forecast has never been good. Finally it was good and here I am now in Breheimen National Park and it's fantastic. In between all the backpacking trips, I have been driving some of the most scenic roads and routes in Scandinavia, including the famous Flatruet Road in Sweden, Vilmaxvägen in Sweden, uh, Sognefjällsvägen and uh, Tindevägen, the Pinnacle Road in Norway. Uh, I've driven the entire length of uh, Lofoten, and I've also driven Helgelandskusten Coastal Road. I'm also planning to go to Geirangar uh, when I'm done with this trip that I'm on now in Breheimen National Park. I'm going to be making videos and releasing them as we go now uh, from all of these uh, amazing backpacking trips that I've done. I will also be making videos from the road trips and the scenic roads in between the backpacking trips and I will probably have around 25 videos uh, released from the Grand Scandinavian hiking and backpacking tour. If you want to follow along on the journey, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell button to get notifications about when I will be releasing new videos. 
I will also be uh, creating a playlist named the Grand Scandinavian Hiking and Backpacking Tour, where I will be putting all the videos from this summer in one playlist. I will post a link in the description box below the video to that playlist. I'm really looking forward to showing you all of these amazing places in Scandinavia over the following months. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Here's a little sneak peek of the Grand Scandinavian Hiking and Backpacking Tour. Thank you.